Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hassan, and today we are going to fix error. The uploaded file exceeds the upload maximum file size directive in PSP.ini in WordPress. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. When we try to upload theme or plugin, then you will see this error. So we are going to fix this. So we will increase the file upload size, PHP memory and execution time limit in our WordPress website. So there are multiple ways to fix this issue. So you can add code in function.php file. You can add code in php.ini file and you can add code in .htaccess file. So we are going to add code in .htaccess file. So go to hosting and we are in file manager. Now you see .htaccess file. So right click on it and click on edit. So we are going to add code in .htaccess file. Now paste code here and you will find this code in video description or in comment section. Now you see PHP value upload maximum file size 128M. PHP value post maximum size 128M. And then you see PHP value maximum execution time 300. And then you see PHP value maximum input time 300. So you can do setting according to your requirement. You can add maximum upload file size according to your requirement. You can add execution time 600, 900 according to your requirement and then click on save file. So click on save. File is saved now. If you want you can add code in php.ini and function.php and also you will find this code in video description or in comment section. Now you see function.php file. In function.php file you can add this line of code. And then you see php.ini file. So you can add this line of code in your php.ini file. And also you will add this code in .htaccess file. Now go to WordPress website again and refresh the page. Now WordPress dashboard open and you can install theme or plugin. Now click on add new. So we are going to install plugin. Now click on upload plugin and choose file. So you can select plugin according to your requirement. And then click on install now. Now you see plugin installed done. So you can activate this plugin. So in this way you can fix this issue. You can add code in .htaccess file. You can add code in function.php file. You can add code in php.ini file. And you will find all code in video description or in comment section. So I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.